not trying to take up too much of your time i know you're a busy person this video is going to be about how to get your quality of your webcam to look better if you have sufficient lighting that is key right now i'm using a ring light it's on full blast but i can get these same settings by tweaking these things even if it's on half brightness it just takes some light to get these webcams looking nice so without further ado i'm going to show you how to go from this to this and i'm also going to show you how to go from this to this so your camera can look like this to have your live streams and recordings look like this. And as you can see, we're crispy and we're HD. No green around the edges, no green around the hair, the crown, none of that. If you do not already have the Logitech G Hub app, trust me, you want to download it. It's going to allow you to have your settings saved when you turn your computer off and on. You can just launch this back up. It's going to apply those settings right back. As far as the settings are concerned, zoom 100%. You don't want it to be zoomed in unless you want it to be zoomed in, but I'm gonna leave it alone. Focus, I do not like autofocus because I usually don't show things up close to where I need it to focus. So I leave that alone. As far as the exposure is concerned, I usually leave mine off because my lighting usually is the same. Now, if you're using like an outside source, like a window or something like that, you're not gonna wanna have auto exposure turned off for your exposure because you want it to be changing with the environment. But if you have a set amount of light coming in all the time, you will probably turn it off and then you just want to drag it over to what you feel looks nicest. So if we go too far over, it's going to start looking weird. It's going to start looking wild. We just want to make sure we choose the right one. If you go too far down, it's going to look real dark. So I usually leave mine about here. Yours might be more on the left or more on the right, depending on your lighting in your situation. As far as the priority, I usually leave my camera on exposure. It can only do 30 FPS. That's not very difficult for webcams to do, so I don't need it to focus on that, and it's not very important. I really need this exposure to stay looking nice and right. Next up, we're gonna go over the video. I normally just put my brightness. If my ring light is on full blast, I put my brightness around 31, but if I go up, it's gonna look too bright. If I go down, it's gonna look too dim, so I find that 31 is the best for me. So you want to slide this back and forth and see what looks the best for you. And also make sure the monitor that you're doing this on, make sure that screen is on full brightness because I used to make the mistake of changing settings without even having the full brightness of what I'm seeing in the first place. So you want to start off with that as well. As far as contrast, I leave that on 50%. Going down too low starts to look wild. Going too far up, it's just not a good look to me. As far as the sharpness, you go down too far, you're gonna look blurry. You go over too far, it's gonna be nasty looking. So I just leave it on 50%, but you can again choose what you like best. Next, you got the white balance. I leave this on auto because I want it to change when it needs to change because some clothing can reflect the light a certain way, change the actual warmth of the situation it's seeing. So that's why I leave it on auto. Or if you're using lighting from outside, from a window or something like that, auto would be better for you too. So you don't got to come in and tweak this every once in a while, every time the lighting changes. As far as the saturation is concerned, I put it on 55 because if I put it on anything lower, it's going to get black and white. If I put it on anything higher, it's going to look way too saturated. I feel like 55 is just enough for me and my skin complexion, but you might need a little bit more. You might need a little less depending on what you see on your end. As far as the anti-flicker, I'm in America, so 60 usually gets us right. If not, you can try 50, or if you're somewhere that 50 is your standard, click 50. That's how you get a better quality image from your Logitech camera. I'm using the Logitech C920, but if you have this or anything better than mine, you can get the same type of quality with your green screen, with your webcam, as this. You just need to tweak the settings, get you a decent amount of light coming in, and everything's all good. And also, those settings in that Logitech G Hub app, they actually work inside of other things. So if you change that there, it's going to help your Zoom calls. It's going to help all the different apps that you use as far as your webcam quality. It's going to change that quality. It's not only working in OBS, it's going to work in other things as well. So keep that in mind. This is going to look crispy everywhere else. If it looks good in OBS, if it looks good in Zoom, whatever you just tried it on, these settings will apply into other things that your webcam is pulled into. I just had to throw that little part in there so you know that as well. If this video helped you out, please slam the like button. It's greatly appreciated. And it does help the videos get put into the algorithm so that people who need these videos can find them. But don't forget, you can always share these with your friends, coworkers, anything like that. Anyone you know that uses webcams or any of these softwares that I do videos on, you can always share these out to people who might need them because it might help them. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.